Yo, what's good everybody, man? We are back with another day of Doolin, another day of being charged up, and today we are turning the last draft pick into a potential superstar in 2K24. So we're here in current day, and uh, the last draft pick of the 2023 NBA draft was this guy right here, all the way down here, Chris Livingston. You can see right here, he was drafted in the second round with the 28th overall pick. You're probably like, what do you mean 28th overall pick? Isn't there 30? Well, there is, but uh, no, there are only 58 picks in the 2023 draft because the Philadelphia 76ers and Chicago Bulls each forfeited a second round pick due to violating rules governing free agency discussions. So out of Kentucky, Chris Livingston was the last overall pick. Now we have this wheel, which we're going to spin every season and we're going to see, can we turn him into a superstar? You know, some of this stuff is, uh, you know, giving him a better chance to be a superstar and have a great NBA career. So before we get into it, you know the drill by now. Subscribe to the channel. Hey, we're trying to hit 200K. Drop a like on the video. We're posting every single day. Comment down below what you want to see next. Hey, follow my other socials at I'm doing on Instagram, Twitter. You know the drill, bro. So looking at Chris Livingston, surprisingly, he's not a two-way player. He's not, you know, sent down to the G League. He's actually, you know, a 70 overall, which... Hey, last overall pick is better than being undrafted, right? And we're on this Bucks team that has a good amount of small forwards. We got Giannis, who's technically a power forward. You got emergency ambulance right now going crazy. You know, prayers up to whoever's getting, you know, whoever needs it. And then Chris Milton, small forward. We got Malik Beasley at shooting guard. Uh, Pat Connaughton at small forward. And the Ness is at power forward. So we'll see if we can upgrade ourselves. He is 6'6", 220 pounds at the age of 20. I have no idea his game, like no idea about him. But thanks to the power of YouTube, we're about to see. Is that him right there? Number 24th, Kentucky. Nice little floater, okay. I'm gonna try to react quickly so I don't get copyrighted. Good pass in the corner, catch and shoot, three goes in. All right, one more clip before I get my copyright strike. Top of the key, catch and shoot. He's got a strap on him, all right. So on this wheel, we do have some different things than the ordinary. We have, instead of maxing him out, we have plus 30 upgrades, okay. And then one thing that's really important is giving him 99 potential. If we land on this one, we're golden because when you give him 99 potential, he will automatically improve each season because his potential is set high. Another one that would be great is an instant 85 overall, kind of like in my career where you, you, know, you buy VC and max him out. That would be great. So first season, we're going to spin this wheel and Chris Livingston will start off. Come on now. Yes. Instant 85 overall. That's a great start. So he's currently a 70 overall. Like I said, with everything rated in the C's, I could choose what I want to upgrade for him. So like if this was my career and I had VC to max him out, I would definitely start with three point shooting and then speed that because, you know, you need athleticism, uh, lateral quickness. And I would probably say, uh, what else? What else? What else? Ball handling. He's a small forward. So defense would be important, like perimeter defense and steal and after all that he's only up to a 72 so we actually have a lot to work with i'll come right back when i get him to 85 so boom he's up to an 85 overall if you could tell he has like a lot of stuff a plus a a minus i'm surprised he's not like a high 90 overall and we're on this bucks team so uh hey will middleton come off the bench or is it gonna be chris livingston yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be me as a sixth man so we're not gonna be a starter in our rookie season but we are on the right track to become a superstar we gotta win a six man of the year. 85 overall six man, that's probably the highest rated six man in the game, right? Because Chris Paul, what is he rated? Yeah, Chris Paul's at 83. So theoretically, we should win six man of the year. Let's do it in year number one. So obviously the goal for this video is to turn him into a star player. Now, what actually makes you a star player? Is it the amount of points you average? Is it just making the all-star team? Because I feel like there are some star players that haven't made the all-star team. Um, so I feel like by the end of this video, the goal should be by the end of his career to win one ring. Okay. I want to put him like on the goat tier, like if, like in my career. So win one ring MVP is probably out the question, but if we can do that, that's great. But make the all-star team five times in his career. I feel like that's, that's very simple. Five time all-star one, M uh, one, uh, championship and that, that, that should be good. Right. Or actually probably like eight all-stars. I feel like, yeah, I feel like making it one time doesn't really count because Jeff Teague made the all-star team once and he's great, but he was never a superstar. So I would say about 10 times. We, we need to make it 10 times in a 20 year career. That should, that should be doable. The best last pick in NBA history has to be Isaiah Thomas, right? Either Isaiah Thomas or Spud Webb. Uh, but back when Spud Webb got drafted, that was like in the eighties when they had like 12 rounds or seven rounds. So I think Isaiah Thomas is the best 60th overall pick in NBA history. Unless there's someone else you guys could comment down below, but 
he might take the cake. Luka ends up winning MVP, Victor Rookie of the Year. Dang it, Russell Westbrook is sixth man of the year. He just had to ask to come off the bench, man. Nah, we should have won it. I gotta see our guys' stats. I also realized I didn't touch his tendencies. So, uh, Joel Embiid, Clutch Player of the Year. A center being Clutch Player of the Year is very interesting, 2K. Uh, we end up with Coach of the Year. We won 64 games, 18 losses in Milwaukee. And then Marty Mills. Why he look like that though? He looks like a like a lesbian. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call it what it is. He does. You see that little kid on uh, Instagram? He's on my Instagram reels like every video. He's like a little, um, I'm, I don't wanna call him a lesbian, but like he's he's like a, I don't know, eight year old kid. Really wholesome. But like obviously it's something up with him. Um, I, 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 I'll, I'll just pull it up. Literally the first reel I opened up on Instagram. That's crazy. It's this kid right here. I know you've seen him on Instagram. Yup. He is a, he, he has some of the, best content out i'm not gonna lie like you know i think he's dealing with the sickness prayers up for him he's hilarious like the i love our instagram reels are crazy but uh yeah we finished first in the east now my guy chris livingston's up to an 87 overall he averaged eight points nine rebounds seven assists he's very well rounded i just gotta make his tendencies higher next season but at the same time he's not gonna shoot a lot when you got lillard middleton and Giannis. you gotta work your way up man step by step so bobby portis is out for a couple weeks Broke his left leg, but we should be straight. Round one against the New York Knicks. We win in seven, closer than it should have been. We're down 3-2 against the Hawks. Come on, man. We lost in six. Yo, what? Chris Livingston played 28 minutes and had zero points, but 10 rebounds. It's definitely a tendency thing, which we got to uh, increase next season. That's a huge mistake, but yeah, that's crazy. And will the Hawks win the whole thing? I doubt it. It's gonna be the Cavaliers. All right, well, year number two, what does the wheel decide to give him? Hall of Fame, three badge categories. That's light work. I'm gonna do shooting, inside scoring, and defense. And that uh, immediately boosts him up to a 95 overall. So I can't, he's already a superstar. Uh, did I make the wheel too overpowered? Maybe, maybe I did. But you could be a high overall. If you don't win anything, it really doesn't matter. Uh, so we gotta change his tendencies. That's a very important thing. As you can see, it's only at 40 for shot. Let's boost it up to like 80. I feel like 80. Touches make that like 70, so the ball goes through him more. Um, defensively, he's gonna have a tendency to steal the ball more. Jump shooting wise, he's a good catch and shooter, so spot up three, where's that at? Yeah, spot up shot three is already under 90. I think 2K already had that for him, because I mean, we, we watched his highlights a minute ago. So now he's a starter alongside Lillard and Giannis. This season, he should make the all-star team. Lillard and Giannis made it last year, right? Uh, yes, they did. All right, I'm expecting to make it this year. Oh my God, yo, 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 yo. 170 to 119 against the Celtics is crazy. Damian had 57. <laughs> Livingston had 28, 12, and 10. Yo, L bro, Lillard is cooking up. That's crazy. 170 is like when I try to break records and I rig it. Not in an actual game, you know? Another pretty good season looks like we got over here. Uh, 66, 66 wins. Giannis wins MVP. We rarely see Giannis win MVP in these simulations. I'm not gonna lie. It's usually other people, but I'll take it. And uh, Westbrook, sixth man of the year in Phoenix. And then uh, Mr. Mosby, defensive player of the year. All right, man. Are we all NBA? No, we are not. I thought we'd definitely make it, but... Lillard didn't make it either. This season, Chris Livingston averaged, he wasn't an all-star, dang it, but hold on, hold on, right here. He averaged 24 and 11 and eight and 1.7 steals. He had, he should be an all-star. There is no way he didn't make the all-star team with this stat line. 24 and 11 is like, that's like Tyrese Halliburton in real life right now with 11 assists, but you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. How did Lillard, Lillard do? He averaged 30. Oh my God. He averaged 30 points. Wow. Hey, this team is like an insanely good team. Chris Livingston, if you knew about him before this video, you're lying. You know, but if you did, you know, that's impressive. Comment down below. Um, maybe if you're, if you're like a diehard Kentucky fan, but is that even a real thing? I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you are. I don't think college basketball has the same appeal as the NBA. Hold on, we're going to a game seven. Game seven at home. I want it to be a close one. I want to hop in and see what this guy's all about. It's back and forth. We have the lead. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, we, we ran away with it. That fourth quarter was a blowout. And Lillard dropped 38. Giannis put up 35. Livingston was 16. Well-rounded player. And we're up against the Atlanta Hawks, who always are an issue in these videos. 3-1. 
We're headed to the finals. All right, bet. Up against the Pelicans. So we will be guarding, I believe, Zion or Brandon Ingram. We got a tough assignment. We take game one. Livingston had a triple-double, just like Giannis. And then we take game two. Another easy win. Almost a triple-double for him. Game three, the Pelicans take it. Looks like Ingram dropped 30 on us, but we had 28. And 3-1. Boom. 4-1. Giannis wins his second ring. We win our first, but can you really be a superstar if you're getting carried by two other superstar players? We gotta have our own team. So with that being said, we added these three. Wow, can't talk. With that being said, we added these three things to the wheel: trade them to the worst team, trade away our best player, which would be Giannis, or trade them to the best team. So let's shuffle this wheel, or we'll get a stat upgrade once again. I feel like we're at 96 overall. We're chilling, and ah, uh, we get the worst one. Plus 30 post scoring. So it really makes no difference to him. He's uh, still 95 overall, but Lillard is starting to decline. So he falls off pretty quick in, in this game. But Giannis is only 30. He's got plenty of time. Our bench looking solid. You know, Chris Middleton has decreased a bit. But we should be all right, man. We should be straight. Year number three, I believe, we got to make our first all-star team. Luke is back to winning the MVP. I, don't, I, I think we could actually end up winning the MVP. Oh! Defensive player of the year. I will take it, man. 25, 11, 7, and we're the defensive player of the year. Did we make our first all-star team? We had to have, bro. I'm telling you, we did. We did. Our first all-star team, and we're actually a first team all-NBA. Hold on. Wait a minute. We are first team all-NBA alongside my fellow teammate, Giannis Antetokounmpo. So, hey, pretty quick, pretty quick low up. Can't lie to you. And uh, with that being said, we also finished off as a sixth seed in the East. We fell off. We must have gotten injured. Like, someone must have gotten injured. Giannis is a maxed out 99 overall. He put up 25 and 11. Did Dane put up 30 again? Nah, he fell off a lot. 22. Okay. We got to win the second ring. I feel like we should just make the challenge to win, like, five rings now. And just retire as the GOAT. Would be great. We're up 3-2. We win. We're up against the Pistons. Come on now. We advance. Detroit, they're going through it in real life. And we're going to a game seven. It says that Chris Livingston is injured. Consider adjusting the rotation. Ooh, did he, is he out for the season? I forgot the injuries are turned on and that could cost us. Hold on, can we come back? Oh, we got a game. We got a game. Two minutes left, down by five. Is Livingston playing? Okay, he's playing with the injury. All right, let's hop in. As much as I want to see Detroit go to the finals, now is not the time. We're trying to win our second ring. Is it, would it be back to back? Yeah, it'd be back to back rings for the Bucks. We would retire Giannis as possibly the GOAT as well, you know, if, if uh, we win him like seven rings in this video. Cade missing the layup. All right, we're off to the races. Where is Livingston? I don't know. I can't see him. Giannis to Lillard. Catch and shoot. Yes! Big shot by Dane. Is that Livingston? No, that's Bobby Portis. I genuinely do not. Is that number 23? Is Livingston? I can't tell. No, that's Karis LeVert. Is he in the game? Oh, nah. Chris fouled out with six fouls. I'm bugging. So we got to win it without him losing our second best player. But it's all good. Four-point game. Giannis can just half-back dive against... Uh, I don't even know who that is. It's an easy layup, though. Cade Cunningham with the rock attacking in Wiseman fouls. And he gets an and one, man. What? Five-point game. Just over a minute left. I want to see Lillard keep hitting threes. Instead, Karis LeVert in the corner missed it. It was a great pass by Giannis, you know, but he just sold the bag. We got to get a stop right here. Can we hold up Cade for one more possession? Or a couple more, actually. Lillard, he's a bit smaller. Cade's going to post hook, miss it. And Jalen Green gets the rebound. Bro, how did Jalen Green get on their team? The Pistons have the first and second overall pick of the 2021 draft on the same team. It's disgusting. We're down by seven. Lillard, Lillard is up to you, basically. Let's go. Off the inbound. Ah, I want to catch and shoot. We literally have no time left. Wiseman, you need to set a screen. Better screen. Ah, uh, Lillard! Nah, it's off. That's game. That is unfortunately a wrap. We lost Livingston due to foul trouble. And we lost by 10. Cade, Jalen Green, Ivy, Asar Thompson. They all had 20. And we lost. And it's only going to get tougher from here on out as our players are going to decline in overall. You know, Lillard and them. And other teams are getting better. Pistons win the whole thing in 2026. My ass. There's no way. Okay, so what now? What now? Are we going to stay on the Bucks or are we just going to upgrade our player? It looks like we're getting plus 30 to our physicals. I'll take that. And that boosts him up to a 97 overall. But as you can see, Lillard's down to an 88. We lost Chris Middleton. We got James Wiseman on the team, who's 82 overall. But now it's like legit just me and Giannis. And then maybe Lillard could put up some decent stats for us. But it's going downhill 
fast. Let's try to win MVP this season. I don't I don't see why not, right? I mean, if 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 we're the second highest overall player on the team, let me just see this game right here, 142. Yeah, we're putting up 35 points. We're averaging like a triple double usually. So let's see if we can win MVP. We spoke into existence. 25, 10, and 8. MVP number one for Chris Livingston. Hey man, if Chris Livingston is watching this video, bro, you probably this is probably so random for you. But this will never be your career. I'm sorry. It's just it's just the way it's set up for you. You're, you're not destined to be an NBA MVP. No, no 60th overall pick is gonna be the MVP. I don't think any second round pick has been an MVP in NBA history. I, I really don't think it'll ever happen either. You never know. So I'm so stupid. I'm so, wasn't Nikola a second round pick? Was Nikola a second round pick? Hold on chat, hold on, hold on. Nikola Jokic was a second round pick, three time, two time MVP. I'm so glad that I corrected myself before you guys got on my ass because that would have been horrible. That would have been horrible. I would have exposed myself as someone that doesn't know ball. But Nikola has to be the best second round pick ever, right? Like him, Gilbert Arenas, uh, that, that's Manu Ginobili, I guess. Yeah, all these other guys were drafted first round. Like, Shea was drafted late in the first round. Yeah, like 11th overall. That's still lottery, actually. Who was the latest pick in, out of all these guys? All these guys were drafted early. No, Maxi wasn't. He was drafted 21st. But yeah, everybody else was drafted relatively early. And we're a 99 overall. We're maxed out. <laughs> so we got our two MVPs, or one MVP so far, two-time All-Star, and two-time Defensive Player of the Year. We got to get two-time championship now, too, as well, um, with Lillard and Giannis. So, let's run through it. I want to see some game action of them, though. We haven't hopped into a game yet. Come on, now. Light work. Light work, and we're back up against the Pelicans. Oh, Pelicans take game one. Okay, Zion dropped 37. 1-1. One, 2-1. One, two, one. Oh, 2-2. Two, two. Let's hop into game six. I wouldn't mind going to a game seven, but we got to win it this year. I can't, you know, go back-to-back -back years not winning the, the chip. Uh... Do I hop in? Yeah. Three point or a three minute game, four point game. Let's hop in. So Chris Livingston is guarding Brandon Ingram. He's number seven with the long hair. So we got to keep an eye on him. Make sure he clamps up. Is that Bronny James in the court? Yes, Bronny James on this team. Yeah. So uh, we got Dame guarding him. This guy, Rissacher? Riss Aker? I don't know. He has the ball. Now we got Jeremy Sokin dyeing his hair a different color every day. Ingram getting clamped, but he gets scored on. Livingston gets scored on, is what I'm going to say. You got 22 points on his head top. Lillard off the inbound, just chucking it. You're crazy. What was that even for? That was a stupid, ill-advised shot, man. Sokin trying to take Lillard. No, sir. James Wiseman in the paint, guarding up on Zion, and he gets scored on. Dang. This might go to a game seven back at, back at Milwaukee, but now nah, we still got time. Two minutes left. Feed Chris Livingston. Giannis is going to force it. Chuck up a close shot, and it goes in, I guess. Why is Jeremy playing point guard? I don't know what Popovich is thinking in real life. That's just a horrible decision. Zion in the paint. He misses. We get the re. Good defense by Giannis. All right, feed Chris, please. Lillard, he's going to chuck it again. What is this guy on right now? Good rebound by Wiseman. We got Jackson Jr. chucking it, missing it. This is horrible basketball. They're going to feed Zion in the paint. Yeah, it's a crazy mismatch. Giannis doesn't want to help either. Somehow he blew it. Six points, just over a minute left. Give it to Chris. We have maxed out post scoring, but instead we're going to bully our way in there. Good stuff, Giannis. And now defense is very, very crucial. Four point game. No, sir. God dang. How do you get it in traffic? I don't know. A three point shot would be nice, but we're going to burn another timeout. My guy Chris has not touched the rock yet. Why is that? I don't know. Giannis, there we go. Oh, Jackson again in the corner. There we go. He hits that one. Three point game. Who is that, by the way? I have no idea who that Jackson Jr. guy is. It is Andre Jackson Jr., a bot. One more stop. That's all we need. Giannis, stay in the paint. Do not let Zion score. We can live with a sock in three. He's going to shoot that, and he drains it. There's no way. That was clutch. I'm not going to lie. That was clutch. Well, uh, we need to hit a three back. So, Wiseman to Lillard. Lillard's going to attack. Uh, no, stop. Pass it. Pass the ball. No. Bro, they must hate Chris Livingston because he has not touched the rock that entire three minutes. And we lose by seven. Zion dropped 39. So now we're going to a game seven back at home. We cannot sell. That would be tough if we do not end up winning this game. And it's a close one. I think it's going down to the wire once again. Things you love to see. Actually, nah, we crushed him. We crushed him. Beat him by 16. This time, Livingston had 24. Uh, and will he win MVP? Yes. He averaged 27, 9, and 9, winning his first finals MVP. So just by that alone, that definitely makes him a superstar. But the question is, 
how many years at the top do you have to be to be considered a superstar? Like, are you really a superstar if you're just really good for a few years? I feel like longevity is a huge part of it, right? Or in that, in, in that case, would it be considered a legend? Like you could be a superstar to, by just having a couple good years, but legends do it for a long time. So like Gilbert Arenas was a superstar, but is he our legend? because he wasn't at his peak for that long. I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud. As someone that knows ball, you know, I'm just, I'm having intellectual conversations with you guys. So let's spin this thing again. We still have not maxed him out completely. He still can decrease in overall. And we're gonna, at this point, max out his inside scoring. Now Lillard is down to an 86 overall. Wiseman played good for us last season. Ben is not looking too horrible. So this year we could go back to back um, MVPs and win the finals again. It's just once Giannis retires or if we land on the wheel or we get traded to a new team, like a, a bad team, then the, the real challenge begins. So he can enjoy this while he has it. Boom, back-to-back -back MVPs. This is good. I feel like at this point, we should, we should set higher, higher expectations and higher goals. The wheel bailed us out early. Like the fact that we got instant 85, stuff like that, that was not part of the plan. So I'm not complaining. Oh, look, it's our friend Josh Giddy, all NBA first team. Um, and then Luca, Shea, and John Morant. Uh, okay, cool. So the Thunder are the first seed, but they don't have Giddy. He was on the on the Grizzlies. They got Walker Kessler, Hot Topic, and Chet and Shea. So the Grizzlies have Ja and Giddy. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Is Giddy injured? Wait, 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 what? Oh, bro, I'm stupid. That was the Timberwolves. Oh, 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 I'm so <laughs> awkward. Uh, so Timberwolves have Anthony Edwards and Josh Giddy. Okay, I don't know why they would have two, I mean, I guess, okay, cool, whatever. Well, we're the second seed now in the East. Can we win our third ring? Every ring we've won has been a mission. Round one was, it was, took seven games to win it. All right, Charlotte is the first seed. We swept them and we're back as the Pelicans. It's the same thing over and over and we swept them. Finals MVP, okay, bet. At this point now, after five years, we have three rings and two MVPs three all-stars. I say we come back and we try to break, you know, all the records that we can and let's see how far we can take it. But before we do that, I think what we should do is this. All right, this next season, we either trade away Giannis or we trade him to the worst team. Whichever one lands on is what's going to happen to Chris Livingston. And it looks like we are trading him to the worst team. Because I do want to see, like, with a real challenge, you know, he's been on a team with Giannis. It's going to be pretty easy to win. But on a team that's not good, him being the number one guy, how will it look? So far, the Bulls have the worst overall team. Uh, no, Orlando Magic. Actually, no, because Paolo, he'll be back. We could go to Brooklyn. Either Brooklyn or Chicago so far. And it looks like we are headed to Brooklyn. Or no, Chicago. I lied. Yeah, Chicago. So it's Chris Livingston, Lonzo Ball, Kyle Kuzma, Todar Sasiki, and DeAndre Hunter. This team is horrible. Very, very bad. If we can win a ring with this team or see any success, then he is cemented as a Hall of Famer. Okay, well check it. We still win MVP in Chicago. That's a great sign of things. And uh, that's, that's good to see. We made the playoffs as a six seed. So we took the worst team into the playoffs and we made Lonzo Ball better. Everyone around us better. He's like, it's like the LeBron effect. You know, it's kind of like that. At age 25, he's getting paid $131 million over three years. Insane. That's so much money, bro. Like, oh my God, this is crazy. Okay. Um, I know it's all virtual in this video game. It's not really real money, but like, I mean, people are getting paid that amount of money. Like Evan Mobley, he will be making this amount of money. Darius Garland, 260. I just want 1 million. <laughs> like, oh my God. Money is crazy. Oh man. All right. All right. Round one against New York. We win in seven. That was a close one in game seven. What happened? Hey, this guy Sasiki dropped 27. Now in round two, we're up against the seven seed Hornets. And I think we could beat them, right? 3-1. Boom. We advanced to the conference finals against the Pistons. Pistons got the same team. Cade Cunningham, Jalen Green. Rhyming accidentally. And we are down 3-1. First real matchup. We lost in five. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If we could win a ring with this Bulls team, I'd be impressed. So let's stay in Chicago for the rest of our career and see if we can win a ring. All right, well, this next season, this bot ends up winning MVP, Alexander Saar. Okay, so I never heard of him. Wendell Samuels Jr., Isaac Amundsen. All right, the bots have appeared. Urus Chirk. These, these names are getting crazy. <laughs> Tyrese Proctor. Shout out to 2K and their uh, devs coming up with those, these names. Well, look, Bulls are the four seed. Livingston, he is a five-time All-Star at this point, as he should be. 
He averaged 23, 9, and 7. Stats kind of decreased. But we got, uh, we lost actually. We lost Lonzo Ball. So let's see if this year we can win a ring. Round one, we lose in five. Dang it. Oh, I got to come back and see if we can win a ring with this team. This would be the toughest challenge of the video. And we solidify him as a legend, for sure. So we're here in the year of 2040. We simulated his career. And now let's recap. He's down to an 82 overall at the age of 36. But in 17 years, as the last overall pick, he had a pretty good career. I can't lie. He started off hot. He averaged 20 points, 8 rebounds, and 6 assists, and a steal per game for 17 years. And if we look at his awards, he won 7 rings. He ended up winning with Chicago multiple times. Three times to be exact. Uh, so yeah, he did it. Got the job done. 5 MVPs, 6 finals MVPs. He's got more rings and MVPs than LeBron James. And just like that, he is in the GOAT talk, I would say. The question is, actually no, he's not in the GOAT talk, I'm bugging. <laughs> but the question is, how many points did he have in his career? Aha, he finishes 46th all time with 25,000 points right behind Reggie Miller. And Reggie Miller is a Hall of Famer. So with that logic, and so is Jerry West. So with that logic, Chris Livingston went from the last overall pick to a Hall of Famer. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, man. If you want to see more, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.